What's going on, guys? What's going on? Back again. Got me a little Stella Artois today, though. You know, a little something on my mind. Got a little, little package in. So, guys, got me a little package in today. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So, it's a, a wireless audio solution. So, I originally, um, I didn't know if I, if I was, if I was going to buy this, I kept going back and forth as to whether I want it or whether I just want to, um, let it go, just let it do its own thing. I didn't know exactly what I, what I wanted to, to uh, do. So I decided that I needed one though, because I was asked to do, uh, to be a wedding uh, videographer one time. And when I was asked to be the wedding videographer, I told the, the individual when she asked me, I said, uh, listen, you know, I do videography for fun. I, I don't get paid to, to uh, do it. I just, it's just something that I like to uh, tinker with. So she was like, okay, no problem. Um, we couldn't find a videographer. So if you're willing to uh, do it, then, then we wouldn't hire you. I gave them a price. I didn't think they were, they were gonna bite on it. They bid on it. And so here I am doing video, uh, wedding video, videography. So, you know, once I commit to something, if I have a little bit of knowledge of it, what I try to do is I try to go out and I try to do research on it to see if I can find any more information on it. If I can find more information on it, then hopefully that'll make me get the, the client a better product. So that's what I did. I set out to learn, you know, I went to uh, YouTube uni uh, University and I went to learn to see as much as I can figure out what I had going on, all that good stuff. And one of the things that I decided, well, that everybody said I was gonna need, is a lavalier microphone. So I knew I had to have some way to capture sound, but I knew I had to have it in a way where it wasn't intrusive to uh, to the, the people that's watching the actual ceremony. So I knew that 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 had to happen. So I couldn't put a, a boom mic over there. I knew that for, for certain that I could not get a boom mic in there. So um, I, I went and I scouted out the actual location and I said, uh, you know, me and my partner, we looked around, we said, okay, you know, where, where can we hang a mic? Where, you know, what, what can we do to get some kind of audio? So I had a couple boom mics already and I decided that what I was gonna do is I was gonna order me a lavalier package. So I went and ordered the Zoom lavalier package. Um, thanks to F1 field recorder that comes with the actual lavalier pack. And it, it worked out pretty, pretty good. You know, it saved my, my uh, bacon in the end but I had a major issue and that issue was that I could not monitor my audio. So when I got to the actual wedding venue, I found the, um, the um, DJ and everybody and I, gave, I said, listen, man, I need, you, I need to catch audio from your soundboard, can you help me out? And he said, yeah, man, no, no our problem. So he plugged in his soundboard into my H6 video recorder. So I was like, okay, I got a good solution. I did not test it, guys. I did not test the video recorder. I did not test the, the um, H6 to make sure it was, it was receiving audio. You know, that was a rookie mistake. You know, everybody on on, on you, at uh, YouTube, YouTube University was saying, listen, make sure your audio is right. Make sure everything's actually good to go with your audio. I did not do that, so I'm guilty. Well, when I got back, home and I, I collected all my audio, you know, solutions. And what I actually did was I gave the, uh, the uh, DJ the H6 to record from the, straight from the soundboard, line out from the soundboard. I mic the groom and I mic the officiant. So that was like the consensus, like at least mic one, at least one person that's up there while they say the vowels and everything. So I, I mic them up. They went up, no problem. I set the three uh, quarters, you know, and just let it run. It ran for like 30 minutes before they got up on stage. Once they got on stage before she came out, I went and confirmed it again that they were actually recording. So I did check that part. Now, the other part was when I got back home, there was no audio on the Zoom A6. The only audio I had was from the lavalier mics. 
which I said that would never happen again. So I, I set out to get me a wireless lavalier set where I can monitor the audio from my actual uh, location. So lo and behold, here we have it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So it doesn't come with this box. This is just, this is a box that I picked up. It was part of uh, an actual Amazon bundle. So I got this box at a pretty good price, but the case that it comes with is pretty flimsy. It's, it's ridiculous for the amount of money that you're actually paying for that, for this device, you know, for them to give you such a cheap case. Uh, it does come with a little roll bag, you know, I can't remember if that came with the, the mics or if that came with the actual lavalier, but it comes with a little wind stream. So from what I understand, the Rode Wireless Go was pretty terrible at holding these wind streams on. And this is just, this was an improvement. So it has like a little, I guess a little plastic clip on there that you can clip on the top of the mic. The audio you are actually hearing guys is coming from the Rode Wireless Go 2. I have the lavalier, I have a lavalier mic here. Um, the receiver is, uh, sorry, the uh, transmitter is on my hip and the receiver is on the camera. So all three of them are about this big. It's, they're not, they're, they're plastic. They're nothing like the, the Zoom F1, I tell you that. You know, the Zoom F1 make this thing look like a wimp, but this it's actually performing fairly well. You know, everybody was raving about it, you know, for the price that you're paying for it is actually performing fairly well. Uh, they're disrupting the industry with this, with this little device. Uh, it has, each one has a USB-C, uh, each recorder, uh, each transmitter has a, a built-in seven hours of re record time. It has a mic that's on top that you can attach a little uh, one string to. On the bottom, you have the actual power has two LED lights on, on the top as well, uh, battery indicator, and it has a quarter inch, I'm sorry, an eighth inch uh, TRS jack for a lavalier microphone. So it's a pretty small little device. I like it, you know, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I had it, I had it for about, about two months before I actually decided I was gonna sit down and I was gonna, gonna tinker with it. They come paired, they come paired to the actual receiver already, so you don't have to do anything. Just turn them on, charge them up, and they're ready to go. Before, I I had them where they were not set up to record anything to the uh, transmitters. Then I finally got around to downloading the Rode Sentry uh, Sentry app, I think it's called. I'll put a link to it down in the, in the uh, description, guys. It's the Rode app. Once you once you download it, uh, you plug your transmitter and receivers into the actual computer and it gives you the actual updates for the device. So as soon as you plug it in, um, as soon as you download the app and plug one of these transmitters in, it automatically I, I recognizes the a device and it tells you whether you need an actual update. Uh, once I went the once I got the um, transmitters plugged in, what I did I went in and I, I went ahead and updated and then I turned it on as on always to record. So when the transmitter and the receiver is on, it's automatically recording all the time. So something to think about. It won't record until you go into the app and uh, turn it on. Um, on the receiver, it has a LED display and it has all your important information like your Wi-Fi signal. It has the uh, strength of the microphone that you're uh, using. It has um, what mode you're in, whether you're in split mode. You know, the beauty of, of this little device, guys, is that you can record two separate audio channels. Now, if you've ever done like a podcast or something where you have mic bleed, so you if you record to a mono track and you have, you, you, gotta, you have one person who speaks really low and one person who speaks really loud, then the audio is gonna sound crazy. So what you have to do is this will allow you to record one mic to the left track and one mic to the right track. So when it does that, um, you're still gonna have, you, you might have a little mic, uh, what we call mic bleed, but you can find that mic bleed in post. And in post, you can, once you find the mic bleed, you can actually just either delete it out or reduce the actual 
sound of it so it's not heard. Uh, and then after you get finished reducing the sound, what you can do is you can bring both audio tracks, the left and the right, up to make them sound about the same as far as loudness is concerned. So that's the beauty of this, of this little device that you got two different tracks of audio in, in these uh, three devices. So, and it records, like I said, it records seven hours internally to the actual uh, transmitter. It, had, it comes with uh, two, two transmitters, a receiver, and a, a TRS jack to plug into the, uh, into the side of your camera. I know some people had um, issues with this as far as connecting it to the Zoom H6. Uh, I've been, I've connected it to the Zoom H6, no problem. Um, it's been working fine for me. So I don't know what the problem was. I use a, a TRS jack to XLR. That's what, that's what I use to connect it to the Zoom H6. And it comes out on one track no, with no problem. I did, uh, I think these are the Rode wireless, I mean, not the Rode um, lavalier microphones. So I went ahead and opted out for two, two Rode lavalier microphones. So that's the audio that you're actually hearing right now is from a Rode lavalier microphone into the, uh, into the Rode uh, wireless go to. So um, this is it's pretty good, pretty good workflow. I usually run two forms of uh, audio. One is, you know, from a boom mic and then the other one, it, I mean, to a actual field recorder and the other one is actually into to the camera. So I have two different sets of audio there. But with this, what this is gonna allow me to do, I'm gonna have an actual recording on the, on the, uh, on the uh, talent. Then I have a recorder come in, uh, a, a copy of the recording in the field recorder and then I will have a copy of the recording on the camera. So, redundancy is there. So it'll be pretty, pretty redundant. So that should help me out with my audio so I don't have any audio issues next time. Uh, this little case here, guys, this is a pretty good case. It's pretty rugged. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to, to handle that little cheap case that, come, that it comes with. So I went ahead and opt. I think this is like, maybe 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. So I went ahead and got this. So we should be good to go with the, the case and everything. So uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have. Just a quick uh, overview uh, of what I consider a, a quick overview of the Rode Wireless Go 2. I didn't want to get into the specs because there's a lot of people who've done the specs and tell you that it'll go 200 meters and, you know, uh, line of sight it's the smallest you know mic recorder but it's, it's on 2.4 gigahertz band you know there's there's tons of reports out there um i might like i said i'm actually using it now so i'm gonna put it through some more fields te uh, field tests me and my uh, co-partner we're gonna we're gonna uh, want to get it out in the field and see how it sounds and see if it can hold up because it is it's not gonna sustain many drops guys i'll tell you that now but you know hopefully everything works out for us so if you have any, any questions about this little recorder, just let me know. Drop me a comment down in the, the uh, comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I, I, I originally bought, I bought this because I didn't want to buy the Sennheiser. The Sennheiser got rave re reviews as well as the Rode Wireless Go 2. So I said, well, I try the Rode Wireless Go 2 and then if everything works out with that, then I'd be good to go. Uh, you, you're not to get one transmitter with Sennheiser. You're going to pay about the amount that you pay to get two and two microphones. For Rode. I think Rode will probably come in a couple, about 50, 60 bucks cheaper. So something to think about, guys. Uh, if you're in line for wireless audio, you know, check out the Rode Wireless Go 2. Uh, if you like this kind of video, leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section. You know, I don't, I don't have thin skin, so if I need to improve on something, tell me what I need to improve on, still learn this video thing. So uh, that's all I have on the, on the road while let's go to you guys. Until next time, you guys have a good day.